this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Um, this is an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Venus, wherever, wherever, <laughs> wherever Cancer influences your chart, you can apply these energies and themes for the next week or so. There's no dates on the videos anymore because I realized people didn't care about them. Um, actually just got a, another comment on one of my Scorpio videos from August. So, you know, it shows up when it's supposed to in, in, in your, in your discovery, uh, what do they call it? Like, yeah. In, in your suggested videos, uh, you find me when you're supposed to, but thank you for finding me. The thing is I make a new cancer video every single week. So if you want it fresh off the press, then please do subscribe to the channel, which helps the channel grow. And also uh, click that bell so that you know when I upload all the content and you'll get notified as soon as it's fresh. Um, yeah, let's go into this. I always include, I always create extended readings for every single one of my videos. So that link is in the description box below. The extended expands upon the energies we pick up on in the YouTube video. It articulates it and it personalizes it. And of course it includes a romantic reading as well. Romance specific interpretation of these energies. So hope to see you over there. Cancer. 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 For this week, Cancer. Oh. Hmm. I think you're feeling buried, to be totally honest with you. A sense of being smothered or buried or suppressed or silenced or uh, not listened to, ignored. Hold on. Mm hmm. So we have, you see clearly now and believe in yourself. There's something that you've caught wind to that other people have not caught wind to. There's something that you've realized, which is a Cancerian trait because we usually pick up on things years in advance uh, with our uh, like psychic abilities and the fact that we're in tune and we're so in tuned with uh, vibrations. But a lot of times we mistake that and we get paranoid about it or we get sad about it, we get upset about it um, because we misinterpret all those other feelings as our own. We're very absorb, absorb, absorptive, absorptive. Um, and the problem with that is that we mistake all those things for our own problems. And it's so important for us to believe in who we are, believe in ourselves and set those boundaries really high and really strong so that we can tell the difference between, you know, where our feelings and emotions end and everybody else's begins because we'll still have the input, right? We'll just realize that it's separate than who we are. So this is about clarifying our boundaries, believing in ourselves, but also seeing in the dark, which is we can see something that other people can't see. This is Aquarian energy and this is a Virgo energy. So it's like, it's very, it's very um, working together. It's very strict and adherent to wanting and desiring to do the best thing possible for other people, but planning it way in advance planning it out. So it's about seeing something way into the future and also believing in ourselves. I just saw three, three, three. Hmm. Um, also believing in ourselves enough to plant the seeds and uh, root ourselves and um, know that what we have understood or what we see or what we've noticed is actually very, very valuable because there is something that we're picking up on that other people have not. This could be a sense of us catching wind to seeds other people, uh, the other people are trying to seed, um, understanding and seeing sort of potentials or patterns that are starting to form out into the future. Um, and do we say, do we tell, do we, do we blow whistles? Do we say anything? Do we, do we yell? Do you know, if, if you found out that your best friend's husband was cheating on her, would you tell her? I mean, do you tell her? Of course you want to tell her, but then you think, will she believe you? Because that's, that's that mentality, isn't it? Of not really wanting to believe things that are, that are horrible or hurtful or uh, uncomfortable, right? And at the same time, there could be a lot of pushback. And of course, then we get rejected. It's something that we hate to feel. We don't like to feel left out. We don't like to feel lonely. Um, we don't like to feel disapproved of, to be honest with you. It sort of degrades everything about who we are because we like to be good for other people, but isn't this what it is? You know, being good for other people is believing in ourselves and seeing a way where other people 
I'm sorry, seeing a way where other people can't see the way. You know what I'm saying? It, it's almost like it's our job to see in the dark, to create something completely new and to believe in ourselves and our capabilities because uh, the energy of seven plus five is uh, 12, which adds up to three. And then this, so this adds up to three and this energy adds up to seven. So this is about something divine coming in like um, uh, something sort of divinely mandated being us, us being asked to create something that's sort of divinely mandated or in other words I know that sounds really like esoteric and spiritual but what does that mean for us it's like we wouldn't have seen it if we weren't meant to see it and acknowledge it and do something with it um interesting enough this energy has popped out as well take time out being very defensive or feeling attacked, mama bear energy. Right now, early in the reading, I don't know if it's you being defensive or somebody defending you and coming to your defense or being attacked, somebody aggressing on you. But this is an energy of nine, which is something is coming to a head. So you could get a lot of pushback, right? When when it's it gets more uncomfortable, when it gets to the surface, it gets really irritating and it's, it wants to pop. You can feel it, but simultaneously something's trying to block it in from popping. Um, time for a beginner mind. This is a sense of being very self-defensive and protective as well as insecure, like not certain of yourself, feeling like um, feeling attacked. So maybe you have been feeling very, very much attacked recently. Um, people accusing you, making accusations, people suppressing you, people pushing, like I said, shoving you down, pushing you back, feeling buried, feeling suffocated, and feeling a sense of um, aggressed upon. Um, now we have... Uh, there is always enough, too many emotions, that's what I think, because this is the energy of nine as well. Um, but what this is telling me is this is sort of like uh, um, feelings. There's always enough. There's too much. There's too many feelings. There's so much going on and so much that you're picking up on that it's building up inside of you and starting to come to a head. And as much as we try to suppress our emotions and pretend like everything is happy, there's something that's about to explode. <laughs> um, truth transcends illusion. It's This is... The energy of 22, which adds up to four, um, a sense of being grounded and enlightened and the truth bursting out and coming out. In other words, this is time to change. It's time to be different or encourage a change in the world around you or in other people. Um, the truth is going to come out whether we tell it or not. So we might as well be on the side of the truth and speak it out loud. This is Aquarian energy. Um, you have multiple Aquarius energies. So I feel like there is a sense of maybe you being spotlighted and seen and even in some ways defended um, by the time Aquarius energy sort of takes over. I know that Saturn goes into Aquarius soon enough. So there's this sort of energy sort of building up right now that happens on the 21st. So this could definitely affect you this coming week. Um, a sense of uh, karma being shifting and and being very truth aligned and higher truth aligned. So if you have felt this sort of suppression or repression or pushback, believe me that things are going to start to change. Um, yeah, they're going to start to change and most likely in your favor. If, if in fact, you know, you have what you have been trying to stand up for or stick up for or defend has been the truth. Mm -hmm. Um, be fearless and bold. This is another, this is four energy too. So this is like, yeah, speak the truth, say it out loud, um, make it a part of yourself. This is very Aries energy, cardinal energy, just like us. But Aries energy is like that atomic explosive energy of forward. It's not, it doesn't wind back and forth like we do. It just bullets and skyrockets and like, like, uh, um, rockets itself into outer space. It's just such, uh, like, like, like explosive energy. So um, this is the truth sort of arising and coming out and bursting forth and maybe even attacking because this is very wars like energy as well. A sense of standing up for the truth and fighting for the truth and having to defend it, but being prepared to and being confident enough and competent enough to be able to do that, to be able to stand by your guns, say what you mean, say what you feel, um, acknowledge what you've noticed and and just share it out loud. Um, 
slow and steady wins the race. This could be the long haul. You could, in other words, this is the energy of six plus two is eight. So destiny. So this is emotional maturity, like the king of cups for me. It's a sense of feeling really good about what you feel, um, having that shell, that thick shell, but having it in its place. So not using it to hide, but using it as a means to prepare yourself to sort of have to go the long haul like turtles. They have the shell for a reason. It works very well. It protects them generally. So it's just um, moving slowly, going with the flow, being true to the flow, but simultaneously uh, knowing knowing like being able to defend yourself like knowing what should come near you what should stay away uh setting boundaries these are healthy boundaries um and then we have wow <laughs> spirit has your back take the lead five uh a change of things um sort of a change in perspective but also rules and regulations doing things by the book uh real structure like having a sense of structure and a sense of long-term commitment to something be on your side and sort of being noticed or even some in some ways being survey like surveillance like either seeing something you seeing something or you you having some sort of surveillance on you and um, that didn't make this like a you know like a like a an espionage thing because it doesn't necessarily have to be like the cia but this is a sense of um like being watched and being noticed and also being recognized by a higher power for being valuable and for being a leader. So, and this is you yourself actually taking the lead and defining the structure, um, defining the new normal. Hmm. Who else got that energy? I think Taurus did too. You might want to go look at their video. Um, now this is your grounding energy. Seahorse, this is also eight. Watch and wait. More Pisces energy. You've got Pisces energy here too. Be very vigilant. Um, be very steady-minded. Be very open-minded. Um, but there is a sense of patience is necessary. Um, but also, like I keep getting observant. Being very observant. You are never alone. Have you been waiting for a long time to be supported, to be loved, to be surrounded by somebody who believes in you unconditionally? Or this could also be a sense of health and healing. Um, you could be going through a state of healing right now or feeling like agitated and sick. And this could be, um, you know, it, 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 you, you could need medical attention. So get yourself to a doctor, but also it could be awakening. Uh, but this is a sense of be patient. You've been vigilant and you've almost put the order in. There is a, a rightness, a belonging, and a love that's coming into your life. Uh, the abundant universe will provide. This is Taurus energy. Um, 10, something coming to a conclusion. Somebody making conclusions about you that is maybe taking them a lot of time. They've been observing and watching you and looking at you, and now they've realized that they're impressed by you. So this is the abundance and resources coming to you that almost were like stopped up somehow. Really probably in defense of your heart, it needed to move slowly. And then life is speeding up. This is Gemini energy. Communication is coming in. Think of this as the wire, the phone wire, the balance between two extremes, the connection between two extremes. It could be um, making babies because sometimes this is my DNA card. So cancer, you could be uh, making breakthroughs or just having an abundance of um, opportunity hit your way. Um, this is more about communication. Maybe it's you creating communications that help to actually move the abundance and the resources forward. And this is essentially um, what you are contributing to the overall greater picture of things. This is your grounding energy though. So give me a moment. Hold on. If you want to go to the extended reading right now, be my guest. That link is below. I hope to see you over there. But hold on, because I'm about to just review the cards and flip the camera angle around. Hold on. So here you go. Pretty wide open spread. This is, this is what I wanted to focus on, this grounding energy. Watch and wait. You are never alone. The, the uh, abundant universe it will provide and life is speeding up. 
this is about finding your tribe, finding the resources to get your heart's desire created. You've waited a long time for this, something that you have constantly, it could also be being stuck in the past or, or you have waited for it and you have committed to it. And now that weight is behind you. There's a sense of togetherness and connectivity. Four plus two is six. Six for me is the energy of love, uh, finding that balance with another person, that sense of abundance coming in and rushing you forward. But once again, I see this happening more after March, uh, March 21st. Like I said, sort of springtime coming through. Um, uh, oh, defensive and protective. I definitely think, Cancerians, you have, you have some insight into... Um, you just have some insight into some... It's almost like you're going to be recognized for something. Something that you're, you're like, I know that sounds crazy, uh, but I've been picking up on this energy for you guys a lot. Um, essentially, if you're looking for love or if you, or if love has sort of eluded you or you've been struggling with love in any way, there is a sense of it coming in for you. Um, hold on, I'm sorry. There's a sense of it coming in for you. Um, after you've made a stand about something that gets attention, it, and, it, and it's, you're going to get attention. You're going to get attention when you're aligned with the truth and you let the truth out and you speak the truth or you stick up for yourself and you stand on your own two feet and you insist upon, you know, despite the temptation to suppress something, but instead insist upon you know, not just being who you are out loud, but proving or sharing or fighting for um, something that is important. And it's it, it, that activity, it's like you're losing yourself in it. Not, you're, no, you're aware of yourself more than you've ever been, but your focus is completely on it. So you're, in other words, you're not caught up in those things like worrying about relationships or worrying about where your money is coming from. You're not worried at all. You're focused and you have purpose. And that focus and purpose is actually bringing you a lot of uh, recognition. Um, there is a sense of having a lot of options and opportunities or, you know, um, um, like, being cared about, being cared for, and that helping you getting, getting the resources that you need to move you forward essentially. So, um, and it's almost like there was like crickets for the longest time, like nobody was responding to you. And then all of a sudden there is this push of allegiance to you and your cause. Um, like, like you're at a family, you know, you're at a family dinner, like the, the metaphor that I opened up the, excuse me, the example that I opened up with, you know, your, your best friend, uh, you, you tell your best friend that her husband is cheating on her and all your friends end up leaving you very defensive, very angry, very pissed at you for even saying something like that, that kind of broke apart the group. They almost blame it on you. They, they blame the bad stuff that's happening on you who blew, told the truth instead of, um, the person that's doing it because that's too uncomfortable. Well, this is a sense of you stick to your guns in that scenario. You would stick to your guns and you would, you would say, fine, then I'll be alone. But the bottom line is it needed like what needed to be said needed to be said. And this is a sense of it finally coming through for you. Finally, um, finally paying off. I want to say not that you did it for a payoff, but it finally coming back around to, uh, help you and um even advance you in some ways this could be um this yeah hold on i'm gonna i mean there's so many different scenarios where you could apply that energy it could be work it could be standing up for something that you believe in at work it could be um um standing up for yourself at a bar during a fight like there, there's so many different scenarios that this could be applied to but this is essentially taking a stand for what you know is right catching a, catching a lot of slack for it and then having things reverse, come back around, and there's the payoff coming. So if you've been going through that phase, Cancer, in your life where you feel like you're really being sort of smothered and pushed down, um, you keep standing your ground. And don't give up on your laurels just to fit in or just to basically because you're scared because there is a sense of you know feeling too much emotion, feeling defensive, feeling set upon, feeling attacked. 
and it's just so horrible a feeling for us but i think in this situation the idea of not being honest or truthful is going to make us feel even worse so stick to your guns because honestly um the the storm will break the clouds will break um i'm going to dive really deep into this reading uh to get more sort of articulate like to articulate these points and um what's going on here uh, and then also do that romance reading so cancerians i will see you in the extended